Okay, so boys and girls, we read this book, Go Away, Big Green Monster. And the first time Mrs. Young read this book to you, we had some sticky notes covering up some of those words that the author used. And then the second time we read it, Mrs. Young took away those sticky notes and we read the book again. Raise your hand if you can tell me which one did you like better, the first time Mrs. Young read it or the second time Mrs. Young read it. Which one, Joanna, which one did you like best? The second time I read it? Can you tell me why do you think you like the second time better? You keep thinking and seeing, I'll call you in a minute. Why do you think you liked it better, Naomi? Because I uncovered the words. Why do you think that it was better when I uncovered the words? Because what? Because you read all the words. Because I read all the words? That's a good answer. Why else? What do you think, Antonio? Because he covered the words, so I see the little bit of space. And you saw some spaces in there. Did anyone think the book was scarier the second time? Did you think it was scarier the second time? Yeah. Because instead, I thought it was scarier the second time than I read it. Because when Mrs. John read it the second time, I noticed that the author kind of used some words and it made me think about the monster. And so then when I first read it, and I read that the monster just had a nose, I thought, well, I have a nose. But then when I read, oh my goodness, this monster has a long, bluish, greenish nose, I thought, man, that sounds pretty scary. And then when I read about his teeth, I thought, well, I have teeth, and I bet that that monster's teeth look just like Mrs. Young's teeth. But then when I read that he had a big red mouth with sharp white teeth, then, yeah, like a shark. Then I thought, oh, that reminds me of a shark, or it reminds me of a scary monster. And I thought it made this the story even scarier when I read it the second time, because the author used some words to make it more interesting. Those big teeth. And I was thinking about how maybe the author used those words to make the story more interesting. Put your hands in your lap, Orion. And it kind of like how when Mrs. Jung eats vanilla ice cream, I like vanilla ice cream. It's really good. But when I get vanilla ice cream and I can put sprinkles on top of it, does that make it even better? Yeah. I love it like that. I do. And so sometimes authors do that with their books. And they say, I want to write this book, but I want to put some extra special sprinkles in there. I think I want to put something that makes this book seem more exciting. It makes it so that this book seems scarier when I talk about the monster. So authors put some words in there, and it's called The Author's Craft. He decided to write that book and put in some words that describe the monster. J. Lou? No, let's not the door. So they put some words in that describe. I bet it's Miss Piaggi. J. Lou, you go open the door. So we put some describing words in there that help us to make the story a little bit more interesting, okay? So when we do our writing, we're going to do the same thing. Jaylou, thank you. Would you pause it for a moment?